I'm Vernon Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to a KK Smart short video snippet. We've decided to create these bite sized snippets as extracts from all the video and webinar material we produce. Each snippet contains one powerful concept or idea, something that will improve the performance of your website. The intention is that you can grab it quickly and try it on for size. Think how it would impact the way your website fits into your business. When you want more ideas and other concept, come back, get another snippet, or go to our website and explore the material on there. If the primary focus for improving the website is action to improve revenue, well, the kind of things that you need to be aware of are that you want a clear focus on who you're talking to. The ideal customer, the ideal prospect that you want to talk to. You see, if you're not clear about this, then as you go about testing different messages and, and monitoring feedback, you're likely to get misleading results. As you test different calls to action, you may not get the appropriate result. Now, it varies with the kind of business that you're in and the kind of product or service you do, what the appropriate call to action is. You see, for some it might be uh, that people will pick up the phone and, and talk to you. For others it may be that they want to uh, get hold of some more information by giving a relatively anonymous email address. But, but whilst it's dependent on the sort of business, it's also dependent on the kind of person that you're talking to. Whether they're likely to be particularly confident engaging with your business or whether they're much more reticent about um, they, they think they may be naive and if you don't know who, don't have that clear picture, the waste that you're likely to see in getting things wrong is going to be much higher than you'd want and the response lower. So you need to test different ways for the person to engage, different calls to action and all of these are the sorts of things that you can do and you can test. You see Analytics is adept at measuring what's going on and allowing you to do these tests. And one of the basic mechanisms is something called split testing. And it works a bit like a continuing game of leapfrog. You get one item, A, and you use that as the, the control in scientific term, and you run item B against it. So you decide you, 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 you cause them to compete. Now, depending on your point of view, you either take your statistical view of what reasonable is, or you say it's enough that I feel comfortable that I've got a, a good answer. You pick the better performer. So let's suppose that B was better than A. All right? What you then do is you revise A. You change A and you try and get A so that it will beat B. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, fine. You try again with something else. You continue this process of leapfrog. And over time, over time, your results improve dramatically. You get to a point where the eventual outcome is way, way ahead of where you started. You get to a point where the return on investment of your marketing is much greater than it used to be because you've continued to test yourself, to, to improve and to measure. So that is a really important element. What other steps can you take? Well, you can measure and refine what happens after the initial engagement. For, for many people, the website may be the start of a process. And, and in being a start of a process, it's not the whole of a process. You've got what happens afterwards. It may be by changing the, the process that people follow, the things that you do, the ways that you try and engage with them, that you can improve the results. All of that driven by the ability to measure. So if you're using email, direct mail, other forms of marketing to engage with them after the initial engagement and perhaps drive them back to the website so that they can consume something else. You want to measure it. You want to be able to refine what happens. 
can you enhance the measurement of your sales pipeline right okay. some sometimes the measurement of the sales pipeline is relatively static sometimes you can improve the measurement itself and therefore get better feedback right that may be dependent on the software system that you're perhaps using it depends what you might be using as a CRM system and and critically if you spot a new type of customer a new customer profile are you open to making changes to either the process that happens initially on the website or the process of engagement that follows afterwards that will suit that new customer profile and, and that has to do with how you divide suspects into groups how you look at the group of people to whom you sell uh, you, your spot we are asking ourselves some marketing questions but we're, we're going to assume that we are capable of asking simple questions like that and then working at that to get the divisions right and to do the measurement and then we can qualify them into leads okay that's one snippet now whilst we'll be doing lots of these snippets they'll come from all sorts of different places and that means frankly they won't be spaced at some neat interval uh, that you know something in, in the calendar so the best plan by far is to subscribe to the YouTube channel you'll you should find a button above this video the other thing you can do of course is go across to our website www.kksmarts.com that's kk smarts.com and have a look at the other stuff that we do all of our stuff is about making sure that clients get the return on investment they require this is vernon riley saying thanks for watching bye for now